There's one thing in this world that has the ability to change our whole life in an instant. Action. You just need to make the decision. A year from now, five years from now, what are you going to wish you did today? The secret of getting ahead in this world is first getting started. You cannot let the fear of failure stand in the way of your dreams. If you believe enough in the process and the end result, success is going to come to you. You've just got to be willing to see it through to the end. Limits like fear of failure are self-imposed illusions. Disregard them, they'll only slow you down. If you're passionate about learning and you put some effort in, there's no doubt you're going to be good at it. Because that is what makes people good at something. It's dedication, it's hard work, and it's doing it with the proper direction and method. So if you put some effort in, you're going to be good. But what makes someone great at something? It's the concept of dedication, that little decision you make and executing it, taking it as far as your imagination holds, giving every breath in your body to that single cause, seeing the grand picture at the end of the road to be the absolute best that you can be and not settling for anything less. Success. It's not talent. It's not innate ability. It simply comes down to how much you want it. How hungry are you to improve? How big is your appetite for success? What are you willing to do to achieve success? The successful, the best, they don't care about the difficulty. They don't care about the fun that they're foregoing. They don't take days off. They are 100% set in their ways in achieving their goal. Because it's all for a much larger purpose than any semblance of happiness that immediate gratification provides. So what's the difference that makes people successful? What are you doing right now? Are you moving closer towards your goals or are you moving farther away from them? Are you knocking on those doors of hard work or are you just going through the motions? Going through the motions is not hard work. Going through the motions is your spirit quitting before your mind wants you to. Going through the motions is just saying no to trying again and making yourself believe that you've finished your work and that you've tried your best and it wasn't good enough. Achieving greatness happens when you're always willing to do something more just to make yourself better. It's easier to buy a ticket to see the game than it is to be the one preparing for it. It's easier to hang out with your friends than it is to stay in and do your homework. It's easier to sleep in than it is to wake up and read through your revision notes. It's easier to go to the party than it is to do one more past paper. It's easier to watch athletes from the couch than it is to be the one hoisting the trophy. But it's also a lot easier to look back on your life and know you gave it your all than it is to live with regrets that you didn't. Not living up to your potential weighs on your shoulders for a lifetime. No one ever said that being successful was easy, but being successful is worth the extra effort. You are your own maker in this world. A lot of people search endlessly for some complex magical formula to understand why some people are successful and why they are not. It really just boils down to the concept of effort and productivity, that you're going to apply the most amount of effort to the best of your ability in the allotted time that you have. And all successful people realize that time is the most precious commodity that's out there. It's the one thing that you can't buy or ever get back. So these successful people realize that they have an allotted time to perform a given task. So they have to give their absolute all to doing that task. Because going through the motions is the most disadvantageous thing that you can do that often when you do something wrong the first time, you have to go back and do it right the second time. Whereas if you did it right the first time, you never have to do it again. And all successful people realize this, that they're going to give their absolute all and put in their heart and soul to any task that they do, no matter how small or how large it is. That they're going to be the best person that they can be while they're doing it. That they're gonna do it right. 
A lot of people find excuses for their own failure. I don't have the genetics. I'm not clever enough. I'm dyslexic. I can't do it. It's too much hard work. What these people don't realize is that successful people give their heart and soul throughout every single task, throughout every single exam, throughout every single lesson, every single minute, every single hour, every single day, to get to where they want to be. That they weren't going to just go through the motions, but they were going to break through all mental barriers to get to achieve their full potential. That's the difference between the successful people and those who are not. Some people think that what they're doing in school is beneficial, and then they get frustrated when they don't see the results that they want, that other people around them are getting. You can say to yourself, I turned up to school today, so I've done my bit. But the question you have to ask yourself is, what did I do at school today? What did you do at school today and how did you do it? You can complain that you can't spell, read or write very well, that you're not good at maths, and it's easy for everyone else except you. But it's not about the genetics or the talent as much as it is about the effort. And all successful people understand this, that they're going to give it their all throughout every single task that they have to do. Because time is so precious that they're not going to waste it. They're going to do it right, the first time, now. Ask yourself, what are you going to do today? What are you going to do right now? How are you going to do it? Success is yours for the taking.